Morning, Rick T, Outdoor Adventure. Hey, and I'm out with this fella. I'm out with Billy Dog as usual. Yeah, if you notice, I've got a different pair of kegs on. I've been wearing these for a while now. I've been wearing these for a while now for work and for play. And uh, they're the Hardland Tactical Ripstock Pants. They're the Hardland Tactical Ripstock Pants. And they're a great alternative to the popular Revolution Race and the Fall Ravens, etc. I think these pants are crackers, yeah, and I think they're pretty solid. So if you're, if you're interested in a new pair of pants and what have you, stick around and I'll tell you a little bit about these. But they are a decent pant for the woodsman and the bushcrafter and the mountain climber slash hill walker slash general outdoorsman. Whether you're fishing for pike in the, in the wild country or whatever you're doing, these are a definite good alternative pant to some of the more popular makes and I think these will probably be one of my go-to pair of pants I'll tell you some of the features of these pants I like I like that for a change. I like it where you can cinch the bottom in. I thought Billy was going to knock my camera over then. I like it where you can cinch the bottom in. Yeah, I quite like that feature. Yeah, above me, especially when wearing boots as opposed to approach shoes. It's quite a nice feature. You can cinch it in quite tight. I suppose it's going to stop anything crawling up or whatever. But I quite like that feature out in the woods. Yeah. You've just got to make sure you leave them fastened up and when you undo them you don't stand on one end and pull them out <laughs> as I did this morning and then it's uh, you know them, uh, them safety pins that you always think in your first day kit when am I ever going to use one of these yeah because you're not supposed to dig splinters out of people's hands with them etc are you <laughs> but uh, I ended up using one of them we making that mistake again but yeah I like that feature what other features do I like there's quite a lot so, come down here and I'll show you. I like the D-rings. I've got a D-ring either side here. Yep. I'll just take my knife off just to get that out of the way. I've got a D-ring either side. Yeah, yellow on the bottom, black on the top. Now these are really handy. Yep. They're handy for the torch. And then down here, there's a pocket here which is perfect where a torch fastens to there and then goes into the tucked away nice yep it's got two really good deep pockets here yep which are great so you know you're not going to lose anything even when you're groveling around and like us bushcrafters, when you're lying on the floor and rolling about, things are not really going to fall out. They're pretty solid in there. What else have we got? As you can see, a nice little section. Yep, to hang to hang your hatchet. I've had my grandfather's axe in there. Yep, with the 19 inch handle. And that fits fine. Obviously comes down a bit further. This is a very small hatchet, but uh, it's absolutely bob on that. What else have we got? Two big cargo pockets either side. Yeah, with zips on. Good size pockets. What about the back? Again, two good size pockets. Back pockets, you've also got another pocket here, yeah, which could easily accommodate a Swiss Army knife. So you're looking that sort of depth. 
so longer than a hand so you could easily put a torch or a swiss army knife or something like that in there yeah these pockets inside the usual little pockets there yeah that's that pocket that i was saying for the torches if you wanted that long on both sides the midges are out in force today if i'm hanging around this area i'm going to be lighting a smoky fire before long or finding myself a bit of fungus to burn to uh but nah i'm gonna move to a better location or a different location yeah where there's less of these midges yeah there's a lot of uh ferns and a lot of uh <coughs> the perfect sort of environment for the midges around here ain't the billy eh ain't the billy eh Mwah. he's a good lad isn't he but yeah what else do i like about him well, as a bushcrafter and someone who's always groveling about in the woods and someone who's not uh, 23 years old and uh, my joints and what have you have had plenty of wear and tear. Do you know what I love about them? I love a good pair of knee pads and these can accommodate the knee pads. So, like I was saying, a good pair of knee pads. Yeah, which makes a world of difference. When you're out in the woods, bushcrafting and groveling about like we generally are. <laughs> Get out of it. Those knee pads are absolutely excellent. So, what do I think about these pants? I think the Hardland Tactical Ripstop Pant is a really great pant. Yeah. And I would say, if you're after a pair of pants, give them a consideration. They're all right. I'll leave a link in the description to the website, etc. I'll see if I can get a discount code. If I can, I'll shove it in there. But uh, it's just another consideration, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We all tend to follow the same sort of format with uh, outdoor pants and there's trends, isn't there? No doubt about it. Certain pants are trendy at certain times, etc. Everyone loves a pair of Fall Raven, but I can safely say I've got several pair of Fall Raven, and these are as good, definitely. Anyway, look after yourselves from me and Billy. He's saying bye bye, Billy. Look after yourselves, and uh, just a quick review, review, and uh, we'll catch you real soon. All right, catch you in a bit. Ta-da.